Sudden fall here with the guide for the mission hit and run. This is to get you the achievement push on. I recommend doing this on easy difficulty. This will be me doing it solo. So when you start the mission, you want to actually look, turn around and look at the ground. And there's a reason for this that you'll see in a few minutes. As you can see, I'm not flashbang, so I can aim at the targets. Unfortunately, because I don't have an active bot, that's the only reason I recommend doing this on easy. It would be possible to do on hard, but it just takes away that... ...little chance that your bot gets knocked down. You want to try and place a claymore just before they bust in. Unfortunately for me, for some reason it didn't set off. But it did get him eventually. You want to hang back and not go to the window, so you want to make sure that when you do shoot from this door, that you stick to the right side. And don't expose yourself too much to the left side. There isn't an ammo next box nearby yet, so what we have to do is go around picking up ammo when we run out. Or picking up a new gun. So on our right, left here, as you can see, there'll be guys on the scaffolding. It's good to hide behind this door and then slowly take them out. As you can see right now I'm out of ammo so I changed gun and it's a shotgun. Which is no good for distance. So I changed back to that gun. And I looked for one, some ammo. And luckily I was able to find some. So I can continue on. Seeing if I can find a little bit more ammo, but unfortunately I'm not able to. So you I just have to press on with what I've got. Once you're sure you killed the guys on the right, you'll be able to press on without having to worry about them shooting you. There'll be two or three guys that run in during this bit. I occasionally only had two, and other times, as you can see, I had three. The ammo crate is right here, so we can finally top up. This is where you can try out some of the guns, but as you can see, they're not really any good. This is another shotgun. And this is the UMP-45, but it doesn't have any sights or anything. So while it's, it might be pretty good, it just doesn't compare to what you've got. So when we go down here, we want to stick to the left of this part because we can see the door on the right as well and so we'll be able to take out a lot of our targets because we have guys up on the roof guys that come in the center and then people that are in the uh, doorway as well 
You want to make sure you keep an eye on your health and let it heal. Okay, as you can see right now, there's a guy in the door. Door, so I was able to take him out. Once you've taken as many as you can out from this angle, we go to a new spot so we can get the guys on, that are up higher on the right. Right here, see him? There's three up here. Once they're taken out, head to the left here and stick to this side because up ahead will be some more. Up on the high rise, just where the stairs are. One of the guys will have a LMG. I would recommend picking that up with you instead of your pistol. And once we get to this pit, this is where I'll need the bot. I don't actually recommend placing him where I placed him. I recommend hiding him under the table there in front of me. But I'm just going to move him up into an area. That is out in the open because it's on easy. See, I put him there, but I really recommend him being somewhere else. So the door will be stuck when you have B. And under this table, these tables that I'm strafing past, that's where I recommend putting him. Gonna use a bot. When you have to, you have to reload the LMG. I recommend standing near the. Ammo box so you get more ammo on top. Being on an easier difficulty we can risk getting a little bit closer than normal. You do have to be aware they will throw grenades though, so Try not to get caught by those. If your health gets too low, you can always hide behind the desk. There will always be a guy that kicks in the door. He also cannot shoot the camera, which I think is weird. So for this uh, section, there will be two doors that'll be that you have to take position on. And I'll be using the bottom door with my bot and the middle door you may as well call it but I'll call it the top door um, with me so basically what I did was uh, well the bot was on the one lower one and I was on the middle one I was controlling the bot to get him out of the way after activating this point but also I had to move my controller right because I was getting shot because I can't see both screens I have to change the HDMI over. And when you go for the middle door there, it's always someone there. 
And when you go for the bottom door, they're always trying to rush. So this is where I'm back in control. Move the bot downwards. And if you stand on these stairs, you can angle yourself at the top. So that you can also see the bottom stairs as well. And the people rushing in. This way you can take out both groups. Without your bot getting downed. If you have a partner, this will be much easier at least. But you want to just continually keep going down the stairs to take out people. When you think you've taken out enough, I would recommend heading upstairs. Now I'm heading upstairs and I'm going to leave the bot. The bot should be safe where he is because I took out everyone. There'll be some guys on our left we have to take out. They usually hide behind the pillars. The ammo crate is at the end as you can see. I had an explosion so I was checking downstairs. And thankfully I did because there was still one straggler. If you go upstairs here, you'll see that they closed off the door, so you can't access the ammo crate, which is really annoying. So the only ammo crate you can access is the one that I was talking about on the top floor of this, which is the middle, technically, of this uh, door. Alright, with the bottom area clear, you can head up to the middle area and take out the rest on the left. And if there is none on the left, there will be some on the right. In the, on the right, there's some glass, and they're actually in that area up the top. See them moving? Right here. This is why I told you to take the LMG over the pistol. And also, run when you see grenades like that. You want to use this area to take out the remaining enemies basically. Because you've got a good view of the area and a good view of them. And thankfully they'll be too concerned about you to worry about the bot.
So once you're ready, you can drop down. There'll be some that appear on your left and right in this new area. I prefer to stick to the back here so that way I have distance and they will make their own gaps in between the destroying things with their grenades as you can see so I can see through and this helps me spot if there's any enemies slowly making my way out. Once I'm confident that there's no more, I slowly make my way up. I'll keep an eye out. I thought I saw someone, but I didn't. So you can grab some ammo here. That's why I didn't worry too much about the ammo in the previous area. And when we go up here, there'll be two guys to pop out. And then on the other side, one will pop out as well. So in this next area, you can throw grenades if you want, because you can run back to this ammo crate and you could ha pretty much have infinite grenades because I'll reload. But I like to take my time and stick behind this red pillar on the left. And then uh, pick them off here. As long as you're smart with your cover, you'll be pretty fine with taking them out. Don't forget to grab some ammo before you head off. Now we head to the next area, which is going to be full of guys with shotguns. So we have to be semi careful. In this garage door, when we open it and go down the stairs, we'll be in this new area. You want to stand at the doorway and pretty much shoot the enemies as they pour through. You don't want to get in too close because then they have a good shot on you. So about here is the perfect spot. Let them flood the doorway. usually about five make sure you check all the doorways because they can sometimes be hiding once you're confident that that's all of them go through this next area are in the clear You just have to grab your partner to open this door because it won't let you otherwise. So I'm just going to fast forward it and go get my partner. 
I should say my bot, <laughs> who is left all the way at those stairs, so it's a pretty long jog he has to... So I actually sped it up by about four times for this part. See, once he gets in close proximity, you can see the B prompt has appeared. I went and put him behind walls because I actually wasn't sure what's next, but what's next is pretty much we're done. There's two guys, and then we get in the car, and this will pop once we get in, once we kill the two guys in this next section. And there you go, push on. Reach the gar garage without going into a man down state and the level hit and run. I haven't actually done the exit, so uh, apologies for my poor driving. But I was figured I may as well finish this mission. But thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of this clip.